Have you ever played a word game called Scrabble? The bigger the word, the more points you get. Well, I've made a word that's probably not going to get very many points, but it really is a big word. And you know what? This word is in our Bible story today. You see, there were these two friends of Jesus and their brother died. And you know what they said to him? They said, if, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Yeah. Then later, a sister again said to him, if you had been here. Hmm. Have you ever said that same word, if? Like, if I had studied, maybe I would have gotten a better grade. Or if I had caught that ball, maybe we would have won the game. Hmm. That word, if. If only, you know, but so often we can't change this situation. It's already done. Well, these two sisters wished that their brother had not died. But God can help us through these difficult times. He feels with us. In fact, it says in this story that Jesus cried. But I love the other if that is said in this story. If you had believed, you would see the glory of God. Many things are out of our control in our lives, but God gives us a hope. We have a choice of how we will respond in these difficult situations. Yes, they may be sad. Jesus was sad, but he did not stop there. He told them if they would believe they would experience something glorious out of something so difficult. So maybe you can remember that you have a choice to how you will respond to hard things. Remember the little if. If you believe that God is great and powerful, you can have hope even when your best friend may move away or maybe a pet dies. If represents a choice of how we can respond and trust our God. The little if can make all the difference in the world. Okay, so let's bow our heads and fold our hands, okay? Dear God, thank you for giving us hope. May we remember the little if and make the right choices. In Jesus' name, ready? Amen.